what up, everybody? It's your favorite going bald YouTuber. Mixing it up on the ones and twos once again. Got this fancy little product here. Pepsi Coke tubes. This is what Poppy was waiting for. Get all this bad boy started. Um, the company's called Centralink. Cent Centralink? Yeah. Basically, it's really easy. It's uh, 3D printed. Just holds these needles in here, which allow you to, you know, get the proper coping on whatever you're doing. As you can see, just like that, slides in the tube and you trace over it like that. So whatever you're going to be cutting, boom, make it a thousand times easier. There's a little 3D printed part. I like it because it's, it's a one way inside. It kind of tapers down. So this side is a little more tapered to fit to the pipe. And this side is tapered pipe. Why do I keep saying pipe? Tube! Uh, this side's tapered out so you can fit the tube in here. And the retention on these little needles is actually quite well. I'm pretty impressed with it. So there's only like 30, I think I paid 30 bucks for this. Came with a Sharpie and a sticker, so you got my support. Um, yeah, make life a lot easier, that's for sure. <sighs> So today, hopefully, I already got this one pre-bent. I'm gonna run a tube from here down, notch that bad boy out, connect it to the beam, probably throw it at a little bit of an angle like that. We'll see, see how exactly it works out. Just got all this mopped up so I could see uh, the geometry of it to make sure I'm not gonna, you know, run a tube right like this. Yeah, can't do that now. Also, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Got this new latest Rage. New to me, anyway. Oopsie. New latest Rage Rack and Pinion. Um, it's actually pretty good quality. Um, it's real smooth. Not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be shite. Shice it. But even if you hold it up, you can see. Slowly spins, drops down. Not bad. Got her from Apple Tree Auto for a hundred and ninety bucks on Amazon. It's cheaper on Amazon than it is on their website for some reason. So hey, get them while they can. Get them while you can, boy. All right, here's the first piece. And here it is after getting bent. I'm not sure in a minute. That's bad boy all copity cope there, boy. It's an okay one, it's all right. So right there, I fucked up the measurement, so there's gonna be a little bit of a gap. Got one side done. Uh, could be a little better, but I ain't worried about it. Got the plug in there. I actually had to heat the tube up to get it inside uh, this one. Um, to get the yeah that thing inside of the tube i don't have a die grinder i tried using a little flat disc on a drill but it wasn't cutting it so um just dribbled it out a little bit it's not that bad you see the copens the coping will be pretty good to it i know that people run a bigger sleeve over for more um strength on the joint here but we don't have that so it's okay next this is gonna be here um, I did mess up the oh, idiot. length a little bit, so I'm just going to fill that in with filler wire and it should look okay. Not going too bad though. All right, got her set up. Um, I do need to take the mill scale off these. Probably just wire wheel that. So you can see my coping on this one's real nice. And on this one is complete trash, but it's okay. You see, here's where I was saying, oop, that's still hot, where I um, cut her well, a quarter of an inch, a little short. It's okay, though. Just uh, use some 332nd filler rod and fucking give her the beans, baby. It's going down. Um, I know the cage. You may be like, oh, the gap. Oh, look at the gap. Oh, no, the gap. It's different here. It's one finger there. 
but it's two tree almost tree two fingers here because i may have fucked it up i don't think i did i know i'm off center a little bit because i measured from the top dot right here on the the tunnel to the actual uh end of the uh, beam that comes down right here and i was about 27 inches on this side and 27 and a few you know we won't worry about that on that side but i do know that the cage is not straight coming through the actual firewall which fabulous job cutting that hole as you can see this one's just filled with rtv or some type of silicone but it's not bad it's coming along it's coming along Oh, I'll show you the, the A pillar. A pillar bar. So these units already got them nice, nice coping. Right? Driver's side. They're gonna come off there and meet. It'll probably be cut where that, that arrow's at and um, meet right on the top there. And after that, I'll probably figure out some cross bracing cross bracing what is that word cross bracing between the two uh, I like to run the spare tire up here in the front I don't know if I'll have room either the spare tire or I got a cooler I'd like to make a mount I've seen seen some pictures of one of those so all right change number 6012 instead of because I was originally gonna have her connect right about there, just so it overlaps where that, uh, let's call it a plug, plug is. Um, but now I'm thinking to cope it to this. So, you know, you see the angle I'm going for, it'll go up. Boom, right there. And then also once this is done, I'm thinking I'll run a X from the A pillar bar like that to the other A pillar bar right there. Then I can mount the tire right in the middle. But who knows, it'll probably change again in the next five minutes. So, got this one done. You blend it in pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, this is uh, probably the most not fun grinding I have done. It's just such a deep fucking angle. Look at that bad boy. Don't worry about what the bottom looked like. It's the top that matters. But yeah, she... Eat! Put the magnet. There we go. Not bad. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then... Um, probably tack it all. And we'll go from there. I'm not too sure what else I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll probably see... What you guys think? Run something like that. And then from side to side. Might look good. Might look like trash. We'll find out. See this right here? This is quality. You can't cope a tube better than that. No machine could do it better than this right here. Mm-hmm. And uh, voila. Look at that. Like a glove. Get that a little closer. It's not bad. It's not too shabby. All right, all right, all right. So that's it for today. I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, I was thinking if you know what, right now I got what 16 subscribers. We hit that bad boy to 20, and I'll be. I'll lay the back tire down in the streets, RIP, put it to rest, you know what I'm saying? Big Brother Thunder, checking out. Catch you guys later.